The abundance of our cultural heritage is increasing every day. Given this wealth of information, researchers in the humanities face daunting challenges. How can they access this wealth and use it in their research? A single person can read about 4,000 books during his lifetime. Even if a researcher could work continuously without interruption, he could only comprehend a fraction of currently existing knowledge. Recently, digital technologies have begun to offer additional opportunities for research. At the present time, millions of books, film and sound recordings, specialist literature and research data are being professionally digitized and stored worldwide. However, digitization and archiving are not sufficient in and of themselves. They're only the first step. The real value emerges when researchers worldwide can access and work with the sources, regardless of their location. Virtual research environments make that possible. In virtual research worlds, scholars can now work with different sources, interlink them with each other, describe them with metadata, and analyze and publish them collaboratively. Digital research data is processed and managed by high-performance computers. Networked data centers worldwide are able to compute complex algorithms to process enormous amounts of data. This global network makes the collected knowledge of research and humanity in general available all over the world. These new technologies could permanently change the methods of research in the humanities. They promote global, interdisciplinary exchange among researchers and establish new approaches to the networked exploration of our cultural heritage. We have a vision. We have a vision, the vision that researchers worldwide will be able to share and explore the cultural heritage of this world. New technologies allow us to reformulate old questions in new ways and to pose entirely new questions. <laughs> 